Hi guys and welcome back to another episode here on our tutorials today. What we're going to go through is how to easily add some grass to your render uh, using Photoshop. So instead of using uh, the different techniques you've got in uh, V-Ray, uh, whether you're using SketchUp or a different software, 3ds Max, etc. And then using V-Ray, uh, we're going to do this. So the benefits are it makes it a lot quicker uh, and you get pretty decent results as well. So what we're going to start off with now is here you can see as a raw render result from V-Ray. Now you can see um, we've got no kind of sky up here. Um, the colors aren't quite right. So there's a lot of post production that still needs to go into this. But what I'm going to focus on today is just the grass. So you can see here already uh, we've got a grass texture on there. Okay, it doesn't look very real. There's a lot of kind of uh, repeating areas. Um, and it's very flat and it doesn't have much texture to it basically uh, but all, all I did for this one anyway was put a generic grass texture um, you can either do this you can put just a green color on or use just the generic grass texture that you've got in SketchUp etc uh, you can use that one for now just so you've got a basis to go off um, you can still see kind of certain areas uh, that there is the shadows uh, so they are appearing and that's something that we'll need to uh, consider later on as well so what we're going to do first is head over to uh, the internet uh, and what you're just going to look for is some kind of grass lawn texture uh, sorry image not texture um, so click on images on Google um, and then I always like to go on large make sure you got a clear crisp image now you can see there's lots of different images what you're looking for is something that's going to suit your picture um, so we can see if we go back over to Photoshop again the kind of angles uh, we kind of got it going from kind of a, a certain perspective that we know which way the grass is going to kind of sit and look um, pretty decent I mean certain things like obviously this one here wouldn't work very well um, because obviously everything's coming forward the perspective it isn't right on this one um, this one might work a little bit might need a little bit of tweaking um, but if we just look down here um, so you can see actually that's a pretty decent one in terms of um, in terms of how it might work a decent image as well quite big just remember obviously be very careful uh, any of these images which you do use uh, are still copyrighted even though you're only using them for the grass texture all right so that's that's a relatively decent one um, so I'm going to copy that image uh, and I'm going to take it over to Photoshop. Now, Control V uh, and place that. Now, a good one is always I like to put the opacity down just when we're kind of playing with it. Um, so, rock that down to 60 and then we're going to move it around a bit and kind of put it into a position where all of the grass um, is kind of covered with the new grass. So, don't forget Control T as well or Command T uh, on a Mac to make that bigger. So we'll make that bigger, you can kind of see, uh, yeah that's pretty much covered, maybe a little bit more, uh, we can play with this later on, uh, but that kind of suits me for now, uh, so we'll click enter, and let that sit there, throw that back up, now what you're going to do is you're obviously going to need to cut this out, now the best way to do this I always find is hide that layer, so hide the layer you've just put in there, zoom in, um, go down onto the area which you're going to be cutting out uh, and what you're going to do is just draw around this now remember these areas of shadow along here um, they are going to have to be included and we are going to look at putting them back in uh, later on uh, so what I always like to do as well is kind of just um, duplicate that layer just in case um, so we'll work on the duplicated layer we'll turn off the main layer just in case we need to refer back to that later on um, so what we're going to do is use the lasso tool, uh, polygonal lasso, and we're just going to go over all the way is all of that grassed area which we need um, is kind of selecting it. It doesn't need to be super accurate and I'll show you why soon uh, because when we blend things in uh, we're going to actually hide most of that anyway. Uh, so for now you just need to be relatively uh, kind of accurate even these areas it's not too bad when it kind of cuts out some of the plants because um, what we're going to do with the grass is we're going to texture it around these areas anyway uh, and make it blend in nice and seamlessly um, some good repeating flowers there makes it look very unrealistic 
So that's a good one if you're ever putting flowers in. Um, try and kind of change them up slightly because you can see all of these ones are you know, very repeating. And what we'll say for this one at the moment is ignore this plant. Um, just kind of go around it as much as possible for now uh, and the rest of it we'll kind of figure out later. Uh, we'll exclude that. So for now we're just kind of going to go around just this part just so we can get the obviously around this shadow. I'll show you what to do soon. Uh, and we just need to get this kind of key area. You'll see up here as well. Obviously there's areas of grass that need doing up there, but we'll do that later on. Um, ignore that post for now. I think we're just gonna, we're gonna go around that. Uh, we can kind of add that to the selection in a minute. So these parts you need to be relatively accurate. Uh, but when it's towards the edge of something, again, as I say, sorry, yeah, ignore that post for now. We'll sort that one out later. Uh, and then again, along here, not you don't need to be super accurate. Just relatively kind of flowing. Uh, zoom back out. Zoom back across here again. So we'll close that. So obviously that part is now there. Right, so what we want to do now is... With the polygonal lasso tool still selected, uh, you want to be pressing Alt, uh, and that gives you the minus key. So remember, if you press Shift, it gives you the plus. The Alt gives you the minus, because um, what we want to do is we want to exclude this part from the selection. So there you go. Now we've got that obviously excluded from the selection. And this is where you just go over. So you can see, uh, if we zoom in here, you can see obviously there's a bit of grass here. So we'd Shift. Uh, you can let go of Shift, and we'd select that part. It's done. I right, see it's covering a bit here, so what I'll do is I'll just nip that there just to make sure that it's satisfactory. Uh, and then we just need this plant as well. So again, Alt to get that minus tool. Because obviously we don't want the grass covering this because obviously it is behind the plant. Select all of that part, and you'll see when we obviously that's deselected now. We just go off to this top area, we'll shift and click. We just want that kind of area behind there. As I say, we can blend all this in later, you just want it relatively rough for now. Um, to be honest, things in the background actually don't show up that often, anyway, so you can just leave them, but we'll do this just for accuracy's sake. Right, so we've got that area there. Right, so we just zoom out, uh, control zero. Just make sure we've got all of the grassed areas this we think have selected. So obviously we've selected this on layer zero copy, um, but I think we've got everything that we need. Um, actually, nope, one key area just down there. You nearly missed that one. It's not a brother if you miss anything because you can just reselect it later on. Again with the shift, we just get that part there. So I think we've got everything. Now what we need to do is reselect layer one. And you can see now it's picked up those areas. Make sure you've selected layer one. Um, and what you want to do is cut them layer via copy. Okay, so layer via copy. And you'll see now we've returned layer, so it's made that layer two. If we turn layer one off, you've now got that kind of grass on the now, it doesn't look great at the moment, okay, but we're going to fix that in just a second. Uh, what I'm going to do first of all is kind of play around with the colors. Uh, so I'm going to go image, adjustment, uh, human saturation. So it's way too green at the moment. So I'm going to kind of bring that saturation down, maybe make it a little bit kind of darker. Uh, maybe a bit more into the slightly kind of uh, more burnt grass texture type. Um, so I think that is looking... A little bit better um, as I say what I do anyway is later on is I'd add loads of uh, kind of photo filters etc uh, to the whole thing so you just want it kind of blending in with the current image and how the image is at the moment um, so that is sat on there as we speak uh, now right so what you want to remember is there are certain key areas uh, where the shadows are uh, which are kind of missing obviously what that covers and so what we want to do is turn layer 2 off uh, I want to zoom in 
what we need to do is select all of the shadowed areas that we can see. Uh, so again, we're selected on layer two. That's that's fine. Uh, so we're going to use that polygonal lasso tool. And again, you don't need to be super accurate uh, because shadows, by the nature of them, are not. Kind of, they're relatively fuzzy when it comes to images, anyway. Once we've got that one, remember shift click to be able to select that's the remember this part already on the uh, concrete on the tiles will be shown it's just that extra part that's not that we need to kind of get um, so again it's relatively kind of fuzzy uh, but as long as we get the kind of gist of it um, and then there's a little bit kind of just along here you can see that's relatively covered and then a little bit kind of along here we'll just get a little bit back so now what you want to do is reselect turn layer 2 on again uh, and what you want to do is image adjustments uh, and again go to the hue and saturation and if you turn the lightness down uh, on those kind of so we go over here so we can see here so you want to we're looking here to kind of match the lightness on the other side so I'll maybe bring the saturation down a bit so we're just kind of so we can get that shadow effect as it were okay now you'll see that it kind of doesn't blend in great at the moment um, so that's where you can kind of go in with your brush uh, and you can kind of just top those areas up a bit okay so we zoom out actually it's not looking too bad uh, but the edges are relatively undefined as well. Um, so what we want to do is zoom in. And then what you want to do here is go down. And you can see along here the borders are, are kind of they need touching up a bit. Um, so this is where you select uh, a brush. Um, so if you haven't got these, you can find them anywhere. Just type into Google uh, Grass Brush for Photoshop. You, so you can see on here I've got a few of them. Um, this one and I'll probably use this one which has got the three strands um, so what you want to do is sorry not on the brush you want to use it on the stamp tool against so stamp tool select the size that you need okay we're just going to do a little test here to see what the size is like so yeah, that's probably about right what I'm going to do first though is create a new layer and the reason for that is because we're going to need to darken the areas around where the shadows are so again just select anywhere and then just start kind of coloring in um, make that a bit smaller actually uh, 20 for now okay so we're just going to color along this line kind of get the key areas all the way along there Okay, and as I say, the reason uh, I do this one in a separate layer, first of all, uh, is because that one I've just done now, what we'll need to do is image adjustments again, hue and saturation, bring that lightness down a bit, just so it blends in with the shadows. Yeah, that works. And then what we can do is another layer again, uh, and that can be for the rest of the area. Because obviously the light changes a bit. Um, so again, and then you just kind of, Colouring in all them areas, trying to get rid of the kind of harsh lines that you see all the way along. Just so it kind of blends in as much as possible. Because as you know, there's no such thing as harsh lines when you're looking at textures. So again, we're back to there where you kind of see the shadows and you just do the same as before. So you can see it kind of blends in a lot better now along them areas. Uh, just as an example, uh, come down here. So we we'll make this a bit bigger for this one, um, especially because it'll be right next to it. Um, so here you can see we're kind of just coming in with that stamp tool with the grass. And we're just getting rid of all those harsh lines. Remember doing little short strokes. Don't forget to let go of the mouse. Um, if you do it all in one go and get it wrong and try and kind of control Z, obviously uh, you can only deselect the whole thing. 
and step backwards. So if you're doing little, nice little strokes, kind of you're covering yourself later on if you do need to kind of step back any steps. So as I say, yeah, just get rid of all those kind of harsh lines. Um, what you can do as well is if you don't want the grass to look as long, you can simply um, kind of get a shorter grass first of all and then just use a smaller uh, stamp tool selection uh, and again you just do this around all of the edges uh, you get in with the smaller one again around the posts etc just think about if this was a real place where would it all be so around these kind of posts is ideal obviously you'd have the grass growing towards them um, and go into detail as well you may not think it but when you zoom out actually those little things are what makes it all kind of worthwhile so there you've got, um, obviously you missed out a few areas, but you kind of get the gist of how this is. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll include the final image after this clip so you can see how it looks once all of the changes have been added, etc. But that is a quick way to do the grass on Photoshop instead of doing it in the actual render, uh, which takes a lot of time to render out. Uh, and also, obviously, it can um, come out not as you intended, whereas this, you guarantee, you get the photograph in there. Uh, and you can do it and you can also go out and take your own photographs um, when you're about out and about if you're in a park or somebody's garden uh, you might look a bit stupid to everybody else but just take pictures of the grass and then you can use them in your render and then it's copyright free as well if you've got any questions uh, pop them in the comments below uh, and don't forget to subscribe more and more videos coming um, I know I've missed out recently on a lot um, but we're gonna start getting a lot more on this channel cheers thanks goodbye